Taking the lead. As nurses and union members, that's what's expected of us. As leaders, we guide and give direction. The most successful of us learn by taking direction. We succeed when supported by others who share our vision and values. We reach our goals when we stand united on solid ground. To be a leader, it takes persistence and it takes a sense that we can do better. A leader should be fearless. Une position de leadership pour moi, c'est un privilège. Il faut regarder, c'est beaucoup de travail, il faut travailler fort, mais en même temps, c'est un groupe de personnes qui ont décidé que c'est toi qui vas les aider, qui vas travailler avec pour défendre une cause. I think it's fair to say that there are a lot of natural leaders in my workplace. The ones that really stick out for me are the ones that are um, there for their staff our good listeners, lead by example, are really on the front line with their staff and for their staff. It takes a lot of courage to be a leader. You really have to believe in what you're doing and stand strong and have the courage to follow through with your convictions and hopefully work towards that, that one common goal. I think being a leader comes from my childhood. My parents were always very supportive always encouraged me to voice my opinion, voice my thoughts, and I've always continued on in that manner. Taking on a leadership role in the workplace can sometimes be frustrating, challenging, but when I know that I'm helping my fellow co-workers get through something that they're having a hard time dealing with, it is so rewarding and it makes me feel so empowered that I was able to help them. I support the leaders of my workplace by keeping an open mind, a positive attitude, and ability to change at a moment's notice. All nurses are capable of taking the lead or showing leadership at any given level. Uh, whether that be a unit nurse on a, on a medicine unit that identifies uh, a problem with patient safety, for example, that's showing leadership. I just think that all nurses have the ability to be leaders. Leadership is more than a title. My best example is when I was a working nurse at Georges Dumont, where a new graduate just got assigned to in-charge nurse on a unit for an evening shift. That wasn't fair and that wasn't safe. We immediately called the supervisor, the director of nursing, to change that around. That was taking the lead in patient safety and protecting that nurse and her nursing license. I feel like a leader when I work together with my team to make sure at the end of the day, the work is done. It is important for younger nurses to be a leader because we are the future of nursing. We advocate for our, our patients every day as nurses, but sometimes we forget to do that for ourselves. Je suis un leader parce que je crois en l'honnêteté. Je veux que toutes les infirmières soient traitées égales dans leur milieu de travail. J'aime être présidente de mon local parce que l'union m'aide à accomplir ce but, m'aide à atteindre que toutes les infirmières soient traitées également. The mentorship I get from my leaders help me become confident in becoming a leader myself. As a leader, I feel proud and confident and I believe in what I'm doing. Nurses are leaders because they care. They care about fellow nurses, they care about their patients, and they care about their communities. I see my role as a leader as somebody who listens to my members and tries to be a voice for them in representing them to address the issues that affect them in their work lives and to try to make their work lives better. What I like about being a leader is that I can inspire change within others. It gives me a sense of accomplishment and makes me feel proud. Leaders have broad shoulders, outstretched arms, and big voices, made stronger by those who nurture us. We don't always have titles or office space, but we have the power to unite and inspire legions. A leader is someone who, at the end of the day, says, we did it. <laughs>